everybody and um, my community post like I did a while was a week ago I said as soon as I was done drinking the almond coconut milk from the container we would do a Dia Los Muertos doorstop which we finished it so here's the container let me show you what we're going to be doing uh, with just a few suggestions what I did is I, I took off the label from the bottle and you can do this with any kind of bottle a coke bottle if you want to do like a paperweight any like you could small scale it but i personally need a doorstop in my house and i need a really cool one so this is, this is why i'm doing this and i also chose this type of bottle just because of like how bulbous it is like it'll be good because i want my little katrina to have like a big gown type thing like real fluffy so this will help and as well as the bulbous shape i can put more volume in the bottom so it's heavy right now this is pretty heavy i'm not really sure how much it weighs but i went um i went out back right now and i did about this much of dirt and then i did this much of um like little pebbles and then come back in after you have it of course it's real dusty so i gave it like a, a clean like a wipe down on the outside Okay, so next next item up here is the paper mache paste. So what you'll need with the paper mache paste is I see how it's kind of like watery, not too watery. I, I consider this to be like in the middle. I did one cup of flour and I put in a cup and a half of water and I mixed it really really good to get the lumps out. Um, so that that is pretty much paper your your paper mache paste. Um, other ways you can do that is you could use wallpaper paste if you have wallpaper paste in your house. I'm pretty sure they do sell paper mache paste at the store, but I just find that to be, I mean, you, you can buy it if you're just like so paranoid about not getting the right consistency. You can certainly do that. Or you could do like equal parts glue and, and water, or probably a little bit more glue and water. There's YouTube tutorials on this. You can dilute uh, Elmer's glue, and that also makes a paper mache paste. Um, I may, at the end, when I'm putting the decorative parts on and, and trying to shape the head and the body, I may go back and forth between paper mache and that. I will let you know because I'm doing this tutorial as I'm making this. And I've done paper mache stuff before, so sometimes you just, depending on your needs, you gotta like use different types of paper mache paste and, and techniques to get your desired result. So what else we're going to need is some aluminum foil, lots of newspaper or toilet paper or paper towels. Depending on your texture needs, you could go with paper towels or toilet paper. Um, I think I'm going to be okay at only strips of newspaper, but again, depending how I want to shape the body later, I may resort and do some final layers in paper towels so we'll we'll see you guys um, another thing at the last part when we're done we definitely want to seal this because if you live in certain parts of the country where it's super humid and i don't have a problem with this because i live in the southwest and it's it's just like dry we have about like five percent humidity ten percent at most most of the time or at, at the very most sometimes excuse me so i don't have a problem i can just put my project outside to dry and I don't have to worry about it. But in parts of the US where it's humid or damp and it might take longer for your paper mache item to dry and you might run the risk of getting mold, you definitely want to try and dry it out, like help help it up with maybe like a hair dryer or, or you know, just try and figure out a way to, to make it dry a little bit quicker. And then you, all of us definitely are gonna need to seal it at the end with some kind of spray varnish, enamel coating, I happen to have Mod Podge in my house from previous projects. Um, so lots of newspaper strips, aluminum foil. I'm using a dowel that's going to go in the center <clears throat> and I'll probably push this way down in the, in the bottom just so I can get like a height, you know, like, let me put this down. Like I need to be able to kind of make the body make sense because I'm going to say the torso ends here and then it's like her legs, her legs which is basically like the gown, but I kind of want it to make sense anatomically. <laughs> if that's even a thing with uh, Katrinas and mythical creatures and things like that, but that's what I want to do. You'll also need scissors. If you don't have a wooden dowel, you can also use a wire hanger, just kind of like cramp the ends. And, Cause that's going to be like our, 
our vertical base. So we're gonna build the body with the aluminum foil. And then once we have that done, then we'll go ahead and, oh, I have paper, I have pipe cleaners too. I'll do the arms and pipe cleaners as well. So once we have that built, then we can go and put the layers on a paper mache and then just, just keep building. I think that's about it for the materials. Oh yeah, and masking tape. I will have the whole list in my description. I'm sorry, this is kind of like, it's just one of those, this is one of those projects where you're like, well, I can do this and I can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna try and stick. You know what? I'm just gonna kinda of engage this. To me, this makes sense. I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, let me take this off. I was putting on gloves because I was like, oh, do I really want to make a mess right now with my paper mache paste? Because we haven't done paper mache before. It is, it is, not it can be, it is very messy. Again, I'm just trying to make my life a little bit easier, but it's, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I'm just going to kind of shape this here. Okay, next I'm going to get just a bunch of aluminum foil. Don't squish too much right now because with the aluminum foil, if depending on how you want the body to look, you can't go in there and like take it back out if you strangle the heck out of it, you know what I mean? So just kind of make it a little bit fat at this point and then just kind of like gauge, okay, I can start slimming this part out now. Cause remember like the top of our bottle is gonna be like where her torso is. So we know that with the rib cage, it, it's small under the rib cage where the waist is and then it kind of goes up a little bit wider for the the, the chest area and the, and the arms and the, the shoulders so i'm just going to kind of do that too Peel this back up. i put these gloves on too soon I think right about here where my hand is just clamping it, this is where I want like the bust, the bust to come out. I mean, and, and yes, it is, she, a Katrina is a, a Katrina is a skeleton, but you know, she is gonna have clothes on and you do want to have that, the female figure. If you're doing a female, of course, you can always do a male figure, um, but I just, I wanted to do a female figure, so. So this is like, there are her little boobs. And then of course the, the back needs to be flat because we don't have boobs on our back. That doesn't make any sense. So let me just try it. And then of course, if you mess up, the good thing about this point of the project, you can just take this off and then restart again with your aluminum foil. So let's see, so I'm doing that with it. Okay, so I want to secure this to the to the bottom here so I'm just going to wrap this bottom part to combine the aluminum to the the what do you call it the bottle with some masking tape so let me do this do, do, 
do do. Okay, see here, let me turn this to the front. I'm a little concave here. It needs to come out a little bit, a little bit broader. the shoulders now and then I'll get some pipe cleaners and I will glue them or tape them we'll see how it how it responds to the tape first if not then I'll hot glue it and then then start with the paper mache So here, as you can see, I kind of did like a little light bulb looking uh, shape around the pencil because I want to have a, the hole and feed it on top of the dowel. So that's kind of a long freakish neck. So let me, let me shorten that just a little bit. I mean, freakish would be a good thing, right? I don't know. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a bead of hot, like a big, in here to a big glop of hot glue just to secure it. So that way I can build on the head just a little bit more um, and then I can tape it down to the rest of the body and then and then I'll move on to, to finishing the arms. So while my glue gun is heating up, I'm going to have, this is, so you get two pipe cleaners and I'm going to have one that I fold in half and I'm just going to twist it. 
because I think just one strand is, is too thin, especially for the weight it's going to receive when I put a layer or two of the paper mache on it. And of course the arms aren't intended in this, in this build anyway, to actually bend and move. It's just nice because they're furry and, and, and they'll get saturated in the glue and they just, they just hold up nicely. So I'm going to, let me see if you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to paste the bottom here. Oh, my head. It's okay, and then I'm just gonna squish, squish this end a little bit. That's my lady. I'll probably put another thing of, uh... ooh, you know, it'll be sick. I just see, see, this is one of those projects where you're thinking as you're doing it, you're like, oh, oh, I think I'll put like a corset on this one. That'll be sick. So let me go ahead and stick a whole bunch of glue on here and here, and then I'll be right back. So I put the glue, I put it on the inside of the head and then I put a big glop on the, the dowel that was sticking out and a little bit on this area. Just to help me out a little bit, you know, so I'm not, cause you know, as I'm doing it, I might get a little rough with it. So I just, I feel like the glue is a nice backup just to help me kind of speed things along here. So yeah, I'm like, I'm really liking how this shape is coming about now. And, and again, also another thing, if you're watching this video, you don't have to use aluminum foil. I just think it's for this purpose where we're trying to mold and, and make a body, it's much easier. But I have done things when it's just straight uh, newspaper and I was able to mold it and stuff so you can and you can still do the head if you just wad a bunch of newspaper up together like it still works so don't be too bummed out if you don't have an abundance of aluminum foil to waste because you could still use just all newspaper it's, it's not a it's not a problem and I think just a little bit more for from my little head here. Not a lot, just a little bit. I'm just going to I'm just holding it and I'm going to flatten the top and then also I hope this is a detail that will come out later when we do the the paper mache on the face but the human skull has an indent an indent right here like where your cheekbones are so I hope that I can get that and I'm doing this by getting getting my pencil and then just kind of pressing it up in the area where I think in my mind the you know the temples cheekbone area is. extension to the base of the neck with some masking tape so it doesn't fall off while I'm doing the paper mache in a little bit. And then 
again right around the neck I'm just going to make like a choker of masking tape oh see I gotta tape that down because every time I start touching things I start like pulling things back I just I don't know what to do with my fingers but let me tape this I actually think I'm really good right here. So I have all my strips. Whoa. So I'm gonna put this up here next to it. Let's scoop this over. So when you do the paper mache, paper mache strips, you don't want to soak it and then like just leave it like that. So what you do is you'll 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 dip it in the paper mache so you're not I'm not I'm just kind of doing just see how the front has nothing and then and then you're gonna just wipe off the excess and I brought gloves and I just realized I said I wasn't gonna do this by my hand and I just did um yeah so let's just continue because I can't remember what I'm doing sometimes <laughs> And you don't want to have su at, at this point when you're doing the head you don't want to have super super long strips just kind of make them medium size or small adhering to the the piece because you don't want any like let's say this is a, the aluminum thing you don't want the paper mache paper to be like that if you see that you want to smooth it to where it, it hugs every every piece that you're wetting and it hugs the the form because later on when you go back to paint if you hit one of those places and it gets too wet that little part's going to come in and you're going to see like an indent in your project and that's I mean it's not something that you want I mean if you're gonna make any indents you want the indents with the aluminum foil form or the base before you start putting this stuff So I'm gonna continue covering all the pieces here, uh, all the parts with my pieces, just so that way you're not staring at me for 40 minutes. Okay, so I, except for the tips of the hands, I did the majority of the body. This is what it looks like right now. Right over here. Yeah, you never wanna do one single layer of paper mache it's, it's it's quite a bit of layers um, and that and that really is just determined how it feels in the end um, you know is every is your base like our, our, I'm calling our base like the aluminum body is our base well covered does it feel solid structurally sound so these are the kind of things you kind of look for when you're when you're determining how many layers that you want to put but that'll be our first layer and then after it's dry, I will show you guys what it looks like, how it sounds, you know, like kind of make sounds with it. Just so you can get a feel if you've never done paper mache before. And then I'll let you know how many layers I do at that point up until it's time to actually decorate. Small change of pace. This actually dried pretty quick outside. So remember her arms were going out like this. I kind of broke them and I put them in like a, a holding stance because I was like, I, I'm not good at making fingers. <laughs> I was like, what's the best way to cover up what I'm not able to do? Uh, which I was like, oh, well she could be holding a bouquet 
when I get to the point of actually decorating her. So I put her, her hands together, you know, like that with some tape and I kind of like squished and broke it here. So I'm, I'm gonna do the next layer.